and quarter life critics coming at you june 8th 2023 what is going on i am joined by my best friends here grant yo and patrick welcome and as you know every episode we get together and talk about the best tv and film the world has to offer and every episode we select a director to guide us through our discussion to to ask those thought-provoking questions to really get to the heart of the movie why was it bad why was it good and we have been on a little bit of a hiatus as you can see i have a little bit of a new environment with me but let's just get right into it because we are wrapping up a very special trilogy today so i'm gonna hand it over to our very special director and that is mr Grant Farmer. Take it away, Grant. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. This is a special day. This is our first trilogy. Um, we're wrapping up our first trilogy director series with Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Um, and Patrick, could you do a, a brief synopsis of what this movie was about? It would be my honor. We are discussing the culmination of the trilogy. The conclusion to the epic, we are discussing the Lord of the Rings, the return of the king. It's the final confrontation between the forces of good and evil, fighting for control of Middle Earth. Frodo and Sam, with their, you know, river, whatever, gnome, smeagol, <laughs> are, you know, culminating their quest to destroy the One Ring, while Aragorn and his diversity crew lead the forces of good against Sauron's evil army at the stone city of Minas Tirith. They are pretty diverse, aren't they? Mm-hmm. They have multiple races. They have you got the D&D cast. Ranks, the D&D cast. You got dwarf. You got elves. It's great. Archer, Mate. barbarian, warrior. We might get into this with the segments, but I was thinking, I mean, this is this is the origin story for, for a lot of those, too. I mean, this... It's the real deal. A lot of what? Races. Oh, Class, yeah. Like peak classes. Things mm -hmm. that are commonplace now that you go, huh, what? who came up with that? Tolkien. Is that true? He came up with these, like a, what a dwarf is and what an elf is? Uh, the one I was thinking about when I was watching it um, was, I think, orcs. I think he created mm -hmm. orcs. That which is kind sense. of like a spinoff of an ogre. I think ogres existed. Mm -hmm. But then I was thinking, like, dude, so he just created orcs. Like, and we just all know. I think most people would know what an orc is. Mm -hmm. But if you said, where do orcs come from? I don't think you'd say, oh, the fantasy writer. They are Tolkien. Forge. In his first book. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, this film is... Um, it's epic, right? And this kind of it's it is the culmination of everything, and everything comes together. And the kind of the whole movie is like super climactic and intense. Um, and I, I, there's a reason why this is the iconic fantasy series, right? It's it's it is fantasy, so it is cool to see the influences of of this. And um, we have a segment later we can go into influences on pop culture but this is such a cornerstone it's it is the cornerstone of fantasy for most people right um lord of the rings i think it's a big reason why people um got into fantasy especially uh, our age is because of an enjoyment of the of the films as kids even part of the uh i think the smoking culture you know they're always on that the pipe weed stuff and that was, at least when I went to the Renaissance Fair this year, that was kind of like a big thing. I mean, I saw a lot of like really old, cool-looking dudes with cool pipes smoking on whatever was in well, their pipe. The yeah, circles, doing some Gandalf shit, some long pipes. And I, I mean, I guess that had its place in American culture as well, but uh, it was pretty emphasized in uh, this story. Yeah, the, the popular subreddit r slash trees, which is about weed, um, they call, if you're a member of the subreddit, you refer to yourself as an 
head is I don't know if you hit something there, Grant. It sounded like your your mic went uh anything. I... Away from it. Is it still working? <laughs> it sounds like you're underwater right now. I don't know. It sounds like you hit a button and something or a cord fell out. And uh Hmm. Still? Oh, oh. It's good now. It's good. We're back. Back? You can hear me? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're good now. Did you, should I continue? Where did, where did I, I lose you guys? I Probably no at the beginning. <laughs> okay. So there's a popular subreddit, um, r slash yeah. trees, which is for weed. Okay. Um, and what they call themselves, if you're a member of the subreddit, you call it, you refer to yourself as an ent, um, which is the trees in um, Lord of the Rings. So that's a little fun fact. Um, trees? They're not trees, Grant. You're kind of minimizing their whole life, Grant. But... Come on, Grant. We got to be respectful if we're going to yeah. talk about the races. You're going to have Greenbeard coming after you tonight, bro. It's going to knock down your door. Are they not trees? I have. They're I, ants. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to. That's like a slur. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're calling them like a low I mean, intelligence. They might right, look right. like trees. Uh, yeah, my that I. You know, it's uh, I come from a different generation. I, I don't I don't mean it. You know, it's just a product of of the times. It's okay. I agree with that. There's yeah. context, yeah. <laughs> That's speaking. What, of, yeah, yeah. The, I'm the, here to just police that, make sure that I'm an ent. So the ents. I was surprised. An ally. Um. In the film, that they never made an appearance. I really thought they were gonna come back. I've totally forgot what was gonna happen in this movie, but I was like, the ants are coming back. Do you, you didn't watch the extended edition? Mm-hmm. Um. I think I well, did. That was, so, a yeah, great, like, that was a great segue <laughs> into our first segment I, of housekeeping. Sure. Um, this might so be related. Pat, yeah, Pat, <laughs> take it away. So did you watch, first of all, um, you know, the extended editions for the other films seem to be, you know, added on, uh, you know, 30 minutes maybe. This added 50 minutes onto the three hour and 20 minute original, leaving you with a four hour and 10 minute film. Padre, did you watch your four hour and 10 minute film? Mm-hmm. Did you do I, it in a single setting? No, I fell asleep. Um, okay. And then not sure wherever that landed. And then I just put it back to where I thought it was. And then nice. continued the next day. Two days. It was a two session. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Quinn? With the extended. I, this, is, this is probably the low light of my career as a professional media critic. So, you know, the last few weeks we've been on a break he's, he's right? gonna he's gonna say it took him like 13 and a half <laughs> sessions to watch it, i don't know I if it was that day. many but um <laughs> so i moved uh across the country and we we've known we were watching this movie for uh, a long time and it just so you're it, saying it was, that's not a good excuse <laughs> it's it's an excuse but it was always you know a little bit lower in the priority be like ah oh, i'll get to it i'll get to it um and then it ended up being, you know, we're going to kick back the show. And all right, well, I got to these other things that are still pretty high to, on the just to be able to live uh, OK. There's there's just some major things wrong that needed to be fixed. And uh, so I was doing like it was bad, man, like 20 minute sessions. It was like, it was like I was watching a TV show and just a um, quick sitcom episode. One shower, just put it on for 20 minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, I, I will admit <laughs> Um, Cause I knew I was like, well, I got to finish it whenever we're going to record. And I knew we're, we were going to record today. So I actually, this is hard to say, but I, I finished it <laughs> today, <laughs> like That's the last 20, 25 minutes, but the, the last first 25 minutes, minutes was start. probably, oh, yeah. you know, a week and a half ago or something. So it was bad. Wait, so the maybe the tr- the ends I, did show uh, up, I, and I had no I, idea. Yeah, I, I think you know, and that's that is a shame because I think <laughs> this is meant to be one final epic. I, I did I, not watch yeah. the extended, but I did watch the whole thing at, uh, at a time, and I think I did that for each one was a, a single sitting for each one. I think I did. One normal, the one extended, then normal. I was gonna do the extended, but four hours, ten minutes for a single session just didn't um, sit with me. I didn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. No, it's a that. long time. Yeah, 
because I kind of feel, you know, I, I think there is a lot uh, to say about watching a film in its entirety, um, how it was meant to be, you know, in one sitting. Um, mm -hmm. You know, on that note, Quinn, do you yes. believe that, you know, this is taken away from um, how you feel about the film? Probably. At all? Well, it's 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 one of those films where I think you go into it and you have the most enjoyment when you just kind of forget about everything else. You're in a you're in a world and you're like, this is just cool. That's sweet, man. Oh, man. I mean, it was for I did was doing this 20 minutes of the extended edition and it was still like i mean just jam-packed it's like all right this 20 minutes looks like it cost millions of dollars this next 20 minutes millions of dollars i mean it's just non-stop bam 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 and i think on this viewing there were just some things that uh you know were in the back of my head like damn i gotta i gotta go do that after this couldn't couldn't mm -hmm. get into it completely, but it wasn't the movie's fault. I don't think anything yeah. would have. Um, That's fair. Done that. So, and I think it takes a little while to get into that mindset too. Yeah, yeah, you, you gotta warm up to it. Like, mm -hmm. You can't just uh, slide in there and they're fighting to some battle. <laughs> the three hour mark of Return of the Kings <laughs> at noon. Put it on. <laughs> Going through like laptop speakers and yeah, it's. Not. So, well, I mean, you, yeah. <laughs> well, you mentioned that, you know, each 20 minutes seemed like, um, you know, there's millions of dollars on production. And uh, we jumped into housekeeping, but I just want to go through quickly just a little bit of facts about the film. The budget was $94 million and the box office was $1.147 billion, which is like, that's insane. Um, so we're 10 to, I don't, that's insane. But especially in that time in, uh, 2003, um, mm -hmm. I don't know, pulling in a, a billion dollars for a film, I think was un, unheard of. Uh, yeah. Especially I mean, when it's like boom, yeah. boom, boom, like third movie in three years, people yeah. are just like more, more, more. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, it was, had a great, um, a claim um, on release. It, the number it won eleven Oscars. Um, the oh, year geez. came out: best picture, best director, best adapted screenplay, best art direction, best costume design, best film editing, best makeup, best original score, best original song, best sound mixing, best visual effects. Now that's, that's the last one. But when if we were playing uh, the game. Our little a trivia game from the first episode. Me and Quinn couldn't have gotten a wrong answer. Yeah, like to any of them all. Yeah, we would have won them all. I, what was in the uh, best picture category that year? I'm curious. I'm not sure. Why don't you pull it up for us? Yeah, I'll do that in the background. Okay. Best picture. I wonder what the song one was as well. Like which song? Best score. It's oh, probably that. Song. I bet it's. There's it's Fran. Oh, it, I, I have the people it? who made it. Yeah, sure. Oh, I was just going to guess the one that's the super nice one when they're always having a heartwarming moment when it's with mm. Samwise and Frodo. Mm. You know, like the Shire song. I don't know yeah. if there's a better name for it. I don't know I'm any sure. of those movies. So, yeah, no wonder it swept house, bro. Oh, Lost in Translation? I know that. Um, <laughs> Master in Commander of the Far Side of the World. Yeah, um, easy Sweep. Mystic, Mystic River, River and Sea Biscuit. Yeah, sea Easy Biscuit. Sweep. Lost in Translation was good. That's that's with Bill Murray. That one was, <laughs> that one was solid. Into the West was the song. Um Maybe we could play just uh, 10 seconds of it into the West. Yeah, what, yeah what's the worst that could happen? Yeah. I'll be demonetized for all that sweet cash. <laughs> yeah, that we're raking in. Let me just share my tab here. Screen, understand.
How long is that this song? font even is just so iconic too. Oh, is this the outro credits move it? Or... Alright, this is not what it I think that, that was the outro of the of the film, right? Because I watched it today. It sounded Good. similar. Oh, that'd be best song. There's so many bangers. Yeah, I don't know. It's the A end credit from the of Oscar the 2003 movie. film, or The Return of the King. I was right. Cause it, nice. Because I watched it today. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, let's pull up uh, the, the, the next section here is really talking about, um, we touched on this, but has any fantasy series lived up to the Lord of the Rings legacy? Before we pull up a nice graphic that um, credit to Pat for finding. Um, Quinn, yeah. do you think there's any contenders that you know, that you've enjoyed or you've heard about that can, that can go head to head with the Lord of the Rings legacy? Personally else, or just like else, in yeah, society? Do you believe there is a contender um, to something stand, you know, for, for you and then society? Well, one of the ones that comes to mind first is Harry Potter. And but I remember it's been such a long time. I remember not liking those films because I think I was into the books at the time. And I was like, these movies do nothing uh, they just don't cover as much material. Like you can't get into the world um, as much as you can in the book. And I think this is cooler than that. I mean, I think there's, there's, I don't know if there's more or less possibilities, but just uh, the themes, the people, the stories I think are a little bit cooler. Mm -hmm. um, who else is in this world? One that's not that we saw uh, before that I wanted to bring up because um, uh, I got a, a tidbit. I got a piece of lore from uh, uh, Mama Bear is that uh, Mr. our best friend here, Patrick, actually in the fourth grade gifted me the book uh, Aragon. <laughs> so Aragon? That, yeah, that, that was the... That was the uh, oh okay the, uh, yeah the dragon movie flop but well the decent book maybe but flop of a I movie got on last time yeah it was and a bad, uh, bad movie I didn't know she told me that you gifted that to me in fourth grade for a birthday present do you like so it so I don't remember reading it <laughs> so, I don't okay. I wonder if it's still in my parents' house somewhere it's good. I could, we could sell that, you know, at the Quarter Life Critics merch store. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as other things, nothing. As a trilogy, The Matrix is up there. As far as sci-fi, sci that's Star pretty Wars, high. Definitely. Star Wars is huge. Yeah. I just could never get into that. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's sci-fi, not really fantasy. Yeah. Does Marvel count now? Marvel Universe, we're kind of in it. In fantasy, history. though? Fantasy. I feel like fantasy has to be. I don't know. I think it's What's fantasy. the definition of fantasy? Fantasy is like not reality. Sci fi is future. Mm. So, like, Marvel is fantasy because it's Ooh. not reality. It's a good one, Quinn. I didn't think about that. Is the Lord of the Rings sci fi then because it takes place in the future? <laughs> 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 Good one, Grant. <laughs> uh, no. No? Okay. No. Uh, you almost delivered that. Uh, <laughs> so I guess uh, I haven't watched any of them in uh, in a while, but I really enjoyed them when they were first starting to get hot. And like, Marvel? I think, yeah, some of the Marvel stuff. Like Guardians of the Galaxy 2 might have been the last one I saw. Mm -hmm. I came out. You didn't see Endgame? Oh, I saw Endgame. And maybe that was the last one. Yeah. And then there's just I a million. I feel like it was a lot, of, a lot of people's last one. Yeah, I think they're doing the same thing with Star Wars, where it's almost like too much content now, where people just can't even keep up. And you're going to lose. You know, it's if you're just making all these spinoffs and different shows and content, it actually kind of loses the hype 
you just like uh, yeah it's like nostalgia i mean I people can't. wanted it yeah the movies weren't being made and then disney bought them mm-hmm. i disagree i think it actually can increase the love and engagement but when you put like a barrier to entry like a movie theater and like going to a theater i don't know it's expensive i don't know it's like i'm not really that into it gotta be a diehard fan mm-hmm. uh so yeah i would say uh marvel harry potter that sort of stuff what about uh yeah that's that's all i got toy story Fantasy. Debatable. What say you? What's, what say you? Uh, King Arthur? Like, yeah. From a historical kind of thing? Mm-hmm. Like, because I feel like if you like, if you ask like a hundred people, do you know who a- Aragorn is? They'd be like, maybe like 75 would say yes, but they're like, you know who King Arthur is? Like, yeah, I know he is. Is that what is where does he come from? Where does King Arthur come from? Uh, it's like a myth, but it's I would say that's fantasy because there are a bunch of books and stuff. Isn't it historical? I mean, like real, real life? No, he had a wizard Merlin, was his like advisor. <laughs> <laughs> where did Merlin come from? <laughs> the legend of King Arthur. I don't really know anything about that. <laughs> but it's like a okay, yeah. legendary status, you know? Mm-hmm. It just depends where you come from. So if you're going for like, I don't know. Game of Thrones could have been up there, but they kind of like sullied it. Mm, they did sully it. Well, they're it. still like, in the middle of it. They're, no, we're still in sullied. history. It's sullied. Speaking of, let's see Not what um, r slash fantasy as it says. Um, survey results by year. Uh, we can just kind of go through this. You see, ta- speaking of is, solely, solely, explain this graph uh, to me. I'm looking. Yeah, at, I think I, every... I, go, I like uh, Reddit Fantasy for like recommendations and stuff for books. And every year they do a b- whole bunch of polls for suggestions, like best things you read, whatever, whatever. So you just have a bunch of like information that goes out to the users from the users. So I just consolidate the top series. Each year it was available. There's no 2020 or 2022. Um, remove some of the ones that, you know, it's a big list. So just kept the top 15 or so uh, for each of the years and then just kind of trended it. You put this together? Yeah. Nice. You could, this could be front page of Reddit. I thought you grabbed it from. Data from is Reddit. beautiful. Yeah. Uh, boys, it's a line, <laughs> line graph. Uh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So. Um, it looks like Game of Thrones was was top, top and never number left. one until 2018. Then what? Ooh. You're, you're number two there, Grant. What? Are we looking at the same graph? Yeah, it's number one until 2018, and then it goes to num, and then it starts to fall. That's the the Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings? You said Game, of, Game Thrones. of Thrones. Oh, I thought you said Lord of the Rings. Mm-mm. He said, speaking of Sullied. Sorry, I misheard you. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it was, you know, Game of Thrones was very strong until it ended <laughs> and then it tanked. Um, Lord of the Rings, though, I think overtook it after, you know, it's been the steady second place contender, it looks like. Mm-hmm. I don't really know the Stormlight Archive. Pat, what's what's that about? That's, that's Enlighten heard us. Pat probably talk about it. Brandon Sanderson. Uh, it's oh. his epic fantasy. Uh, and it's kind of continuously come out. So I think it 2018, one book came out. In 2021, another book came out. So that could have been like the driver for this mm. overtaking. And, you know, coinciding with Game of Thrones kind of stumbling through their finales. I see Mistborn on here. That's mm-hmm. him as well. Is there any other Brandon Sanderson? He finished Wheel of Time. That's how he kind of got his acclaim. The, the author nice died, time. Robert Jordan. And then but he had like an outline, extensive notes. So then he uh oh, that's cool. I've never books, heard of that. Yeah, it's it's super famous. Uh Amazon's doing a TV show now, but it's like 
15 books, it's heavy. Crazy. It's, no, I haven't read it. It sounds like effort. He finished like a book or he finished the first one in a series? He finished and... the final three books. He wrapped it up. Jesus it's Christ, like it's man. It's like someone else took over Game of Thrones. Yeah. That's, it's, that's pretty so nuts. Hard. Yeah, so he yeah. got super kind of, they're like, damn, this guy's Recognized. out of nowhere and just took the biggest series like as of the time and finished it up. And what else is he going to do? So he's also done some other good stuff. Yeah. Nice. What's um, First Law? uh it's that's kind of like lord of the rings. yeah i've read it it's kind of it's like a gritty lord of the rings like you got a barbarian s you got a wizard you got i don't know a bunch of war a bunch of battles and, and then we've looks, got harry potter on there that took a nosedive yeah i which don't know why i'm guessing you know if i had my knee-jerk reaction is just some uh uh reddit anti jk rowling trans comments um behavior but i think it's other things being like written yeah i think it's like i would say because this is not the rating of harry potter at, in itself it's how it ranks against the rest of these here so it might have just been replaced like you see, yeah. I mean, you would put it lower because you're like, I don't, I don't like J.K. Rowling anymore. Yeah, and it's kind of like, I feel like more for children too. So I feel like as you get older, you probably bring mm -hmm. it a little yeah. bit lower too. Harry Potter's for children. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, Shocker. Yeah. So Lord of the Rings still. Uh, so I think what it's crazy because everything else is like relatively current except wheel of time lord of the rings old as fuck still so well regarded so that definitely leaves a legacy and they're coming yeah they're coming out with a new one they might be soling the legacy you it might be could you could be Thrones kind of dive here like the hobbit definitely didn't do any favors horrible I think the I think the video game was trash too. I I saw things online. There was like some Gollum video game that just yeah. Came didn't out. they just come with Gollum? Yeah, the video game. And it just sucks. It's like just a waste of because it was uh we were talking about um, Diablo, and I saw the kind of the latest games to come out were like Diablo and that Gollum game, and people were like, <laughs> if you want to throw away your money, you buy the Gollum game. <laughs> Imagine a game with like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, but you're like Gollum Smeagol, and you gotta like. <laughs> make it through like yeah. without exposing like Gollum and you're journeying with Sam and Frodo, you know, and you're like, I don't know. You just have to hide the whole game. <laughs> or... No, no, no. You have to like make it through conversations without Gollum, like fully oh. coming out. <laughs> it's just, you're just, it's just a dialogue game. You're just... <laughs> <laughs> well, Continuing the Lord of the Rings legacy, I assigned you guys some homework. Oh boy. Patrick, Quinn, I asked both of you to pull up some favorite quotes. Um, I feel like this series, um, there's a lot of iconic one liners, a lot of iconic scenes, a lot of iconic memes that came out of this, which we'll we'll discuss later. But were there any quotes that stood out, Patrick, um, in the whole series that uh, you like for one reason or another? Yes, there, there are a ton, as you alluded to. There's, there are quite a few, you know, you got silly ones where it's like potatoes, you know, which we were messing around with. You have super uplifting messages filled with hope, you know, stuff about how the world is good. You know, you just have to fight for it. I picked... Uh, something by Gandalf, a little whimsical, and relates to myself, and something my dad always said, too, but just in reference to him. A wizard is never late, oh, man. nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. And I feel like that kind of pertains to myself as well, you know? If I get there when I get there, I'll be getting there as I get there. I like it. Mm -hmm. Stole my fucking quote, man. <laughs> Snatched it. Stole it. It's it's the greatest quote, though. Is it? I think so. So, I mean, before Pat continues, 
uh, I'll just explain my reasoning. I also picked that as one of my quotes um, because the more I thought about the movie, the more I thought about like movies in general, I thought it's a very fitting and beautiful phrase to describe art and movies and things that are created. It's just everything's in its exact place and you can't imagine it any other way um, in its kind of purest form. And it's a great opening scene and it was phenomenal. So I can see why you stole. It's the first line or the first line of the, the, the first movie. Or was it? They're going to the, uh, it's the first thing Gandalf Gandalf. says. Yeah. They're going Mm. to his birthday party. Yeah. He's got his pipe weed. He says very chill. Because they start off a little antagonistic and then they break into the joyous, loving embrace. And yeah, it's just probably one of the best openings to movies ever. Yeah. So, Spe- speaking quote, of opening, Pat. this the opening of this one. I mean, I know Quinn, you you maybe you didn't even get through the opening <laughs> scene um, on your first uh, session, but the opening scene of of Gollum and his brother was that that's like right right off the bat, you're in it. It's it's uh, yeah, he kills his brother with the ring like right away. He was kind of a I don't know. He was a creature from the start. <laughs> But it also just shows the power of the ring, right? Um, mm-hmm. I thought it was a great way to open. Yeah, he's been under like the spell fish. from day one. Mm-hmm. And yeah, loves fish. Can't ruin well, the fish. Don't cook it. I mean, we've t- been talking. There's just so many quotes to choose from. So, Quinn, I'm sure you have yes. a second one. I do. Well, my second quote, so I picked two out because my clairvoyant mind was like, oh, Pat's going to steal my quote. So... Um, I'll have another one. I don't know if it was actually said in um, the movie, but I saw, I think in the new movie, they there was a teaser clip that came out that it has one of the songs from one of the poems of J.R.R. Tolkien in The Fellowship of the Ring where he has a couple lines in there that he says, all that is gold does not glitter, not all those who wander are lost. And I think you see that a lot in modern day sayings and, you know, it sparked like Kid Cudi lyrics and it's an interesting and nice way to think about life. And it was just like a poem in the book and I like that quote a lot. I think the last of the lines are all that is glitter does not all that is gold does not glitter, not all those who wander are lost. The old that is strong does not wither. Deep roots are not reached by the frost. From the ashes a fire shall be woken, a light from the shadows shall spring, renewed shall be blade that was broken, the crownless again shall be king. So I don't know. Don't it's just, just yeah, just yeah, it's pretty epic. And I don't even know how they go from... Because I remember reading The Hobbit, I think, and there's a lot of songs in that too. Going from song to film or something where you have to actually sing the song and have music and how they tackle that issue. Because it's not like, start in C-sharp. <laughs> so like tabs on the page. Hmm. But you like uh, you just... It's the same as any movie soundtrack, but you just have to work with. You just work like with what you got. A, yeah, you like pick a classical composer, you know, make some things with this. It is just interesting because we talked about, you know, the transfer mm-hmm. of brains mm-hmm. for books where you have the the, the original author is probably not, well, he's dead. Um, <laughs> he's probably not going to be able to be involved in the process of convert. He had something in his mind mm-hmm. and then someone else takes that and makes it. Yeah, so many people had to be on the absolute top of their game for these to come out the way they did, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and especially without writing, actors, without Without the internet. Yeah, well, Tolkien Mm -hmm. wasn't even there, right? Like, that's, I didn't even really realize that until, like, that Tolkien was dead before these were made, you know? And only one person 
I think on the project, I forget who it was, had met Tolkien. No one else had even met him. Um, and so I think Peter Jackson did a really good job and blew everyone away with the adaptation. You know, you can't consult the author. Um, yeah, he's a legend for like forever now. Like, yeah. I, I feel like he, I don't really know very many director names, but I, Peter Jackson's like, it's a good director name, you know? Yeah, Peter Jackson. Very memorable. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this, yeah, Fellowship of the Ring was, he published it in 1954. Yeah, so, I know. I didn't know it was so old. So, yeah, he was a soldier in World, World War One, and like wow. saw the hor horrendous nature Horrific. of like trench warfare, and that's mm. kind of like I don't know why a lot of this shit is just like the terrible nature of war. Yeah, well, moving from that to a subject a little bit lighter, let's Your go point. and do that. At I actually, I don't have a quote. I didn't put one together. Man. I it goes, it goes into. Um, okay, okay. We got a lot of quotes for these memes, so. Um, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Let me move into our next activity, where we can keep score, guys. We're gonna keep score, so you're gonna have five chances to score points. I'm going to show you a blank image. You're gonna have to tell me what was said and what is this meme. And we have five images, and then I will reveal, and you guys get a point for each. If we get it, hard. wait. Who are we going at the same time? We working together? What's going no. on? Enemy. Yeah, you guys are against each other. Okay. Yeah. Just one. All right. Kind of We'll try and explain it too for our only listener viewers, but you can catch us live on YouTube. So I'd always recommend yes. that. Yes. I think mine's bugged. Let me. All right, Lord of the Memes. <laughs> we have, uh, for our listeners, we have a meme on here. If you're Gandalf, why are you so white? With Legolas saying, oh my God, Aragorn, you can't just ask people why they're white. <laughs> you get a point. Uh, so, our first one, everyone knows this meme. Yeah, like us. I know this one. <laughs> Me too. All right. Both you guys say it. Let me. I, I didn't think about how I would. Uh... <laughs> well, we both know this one's pretty solid. One so pretty solid. one does not simply, simply walk, walk into Mordor. One does not simply walk into Mordor. <laughs> Which I'm not really even sure why it became a meme because it, it seemed pretty kind of nonchalant. Like sometimes, mm -hmm. like when I watch it, it. Yeah, you could miss it. Like I remember when we were watching um, The Wire uh, way back. Like you cannot miss when he's like, "She." <laughs> yeah. Like that's pretty. This is just kind of like a little bit strange of a line, but yeah. took off. Um, yeah, I feel like it's, it's just the cult following. I think just, like I don't know. Yeah, I think I think this is a lot of pop culture. A lot of memes came from this series. Um, since I didn't really think through the scoring, I guess I'm just gonna. Um, you guys, it's gonna be a team activity, guys. Ally. Or it could be on the uh, the honest scale. You know the. Um, okay. You could be honest, honest if you know it. Be honest. Be honest. Let me go to the next one. One does not simply walk into more. And you'd be like, one does not simply. Code Here we website go. in a day. I got uh, I know this one as well. I mean, I know the. Am I supposed to know the meme? I know the line. You know the line. That's. I what, know the line. You know. Okay. Is that good enough? Uh, yep. Let's reveal right. it. You shall. Or, what? You shall. Uh, not you shall not pass. It's too much. <laughs> Yeah, that one's so, so some easy ones. I, I, I wanted to get you guys started. Well, you know? I'm, 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 I'm lubed up. The I'm sweating. Fun. You guys ready? I'm having uh, fun. I wish I could move to the button easier. Can you if see you this little the bottom, slide? Grant, not... Yeah, I'm trying to. If you presenting, do you, like uh, your views. So exit full screen. Mm hmm And then the bottom, there's like the. This? I could do presenter mode. Can you guys still see it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You shall not 
No, that didn't work. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to do, but I'm just trying to go to the next slide. But you have oh, to be edited, so it's not like this one. Bro, I don't know what this one. Is. This one. This actually um, would be my. It was like my favorite quote. It wasn't like you guys did pretty meaningful quotes. This was really just one that I really enjoyed. Um, this isn't a meme. Yes. This is this is a meme. This is a meme okay. as well. Or it's it's maybe less of a I mean the line is extremely famous. Um you will know it. What I can give I can't, I can't really he is, he, he is on Return of the King, right? It's on Return of the King and he is on horseback. That is that is the hint you guys get. It's probably telling someone something inspirational. Um, I don't know. Right after Pippin touched the orb and then uh, Sauron knew where they were and thought that he had the ring. It's, and so they it's, had, it's like something, something, you, you fool. Flee, you fools. Flee, you fools. I don't think that's you this part, though. Maggot-faced fool. Run, uh, run. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, so I show us to me. I thought it was such a like in terms of like an author, you know that. It, I mean, that was not a thing. Show us the meme haste. You hear that all the time now. That was from from this. Um, so uh, such right, a right, powerful show us the meaning. Yeah, it's like show us. You know what? Yeah, show us the meaning of haste. We gotta go. Let's go. Well, all right. So I guess you guys are tied. You're tied. You're tied. Mm -hmm. Let me go to the next one. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Does he just cackle? <laughs> um, this is a meme. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Bro, what is that? Honestly, so I didn't even know this was from Lord of the Rings, but like, obviously it is. Well, this yeah. is pre King. This is before, while well, he's still. This Under is the Theoden. Right? Yeah. This is getting off the gray, yeah. He's talking to Gandalf the Grey. Mm -hmm. And Gandalf is trying to, I forget exactly what he's trying to tell him what to do, but this is his response in uh, Gandalf's ordering him around and uh, he d is not respecting him. I don't know this one. Old Theoden possessed by Sauron looking all raggedy. I don't know this one. All right, you guys probably won't know the next one then. The next one. <laughs> you. <laughs> you have no power here. Right. It's almost that's like that's, that's Saruman. Yeah. Yeah. I've probably Speaking seen that in a. In a you clip have or no something. power here. I've seen, I, once, that got the cackling. He should get a half a point. Yeah. <laughs> that was half of the clip. I knew it was gonna like <laughs> just gross. Yeah, he is so gross. It's like such a good actor, though. Mm -hmm. All right, this is our last one. Wow, damn, is this pre movie or post movie? I can't even tell. I think it oh. seems like it's post movie. I think it's, pre. it's pre, I think. So, this is from the fellowship. I believe so. Um, what could he I be can't. saying? He's either riding with Gandalf, or he's—it's Frodo. He's very young. He is—he is no. Uh, he's not Open dirty. <laughs> he looks looking pretty good for Frodo's mm -hmm. sake. This was the one that I like. Didn't really remember. Like the rest, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I know all these. This one, it's like, hmm. I think it's Even a, after you knew it, you were like, well, my, yeah, I couldn't pinpoint exactly where it was. My, my girlfriend is, she didn't know right away until, and she's a huge Lord of the Rings fan. So save the hardest for last. Um, who's, who's he talking to? Let's, let's try and I think he's talking to Gandalf. On it looks like he's in the cart with him. Yeah. 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 I think that's, that's yeah. Let's that go looks like a Gandalf, the gray staff. Let's go get some hookers, Gandalf. <laughs> Fireworks. 
All right then. All keep right, your then secrets. Keep your secrets. Oh, oh yeah, I would have never. I don't even Pat know. Knew. Pat knew. Pat knew once he saw it though. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, he's... I thought he just read the title. I did. But he knew I, that. He I knew, knew like... Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. But what is that a meme? Um... A meme is just something that's repeated and spread around a lot. It's no, not... no, no, no. I'm just. I'm trying to get an example. Oh, that's kind of funny. When you find a good academic article, but only the first two pages are free. All right then, keep your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, meme meme approved. All right, we'll give it. We'll, we'll we're gonna crown it to Patrick here. I'll give it to him. Yeah. It's a little bit. He edged you out a little bit, and uh, <sighs> all those quarter uh, halfies. You got the cackling, and then he knew the voice. You know. Um, the last one so you know if maybe maybe if you just watched the movies in, in their entirety at in one sitting you would have caught on to some of the memes that we just went through but you know next time first the carrot the stick. Time. well what let's watch it this weekend guys we'll hang out we could mm -hmm. we could watch i don't think we're doing anything tomorrow so we could, we could well, watch, watch all of them 10 hours great great job Grant. Up. <laughs> great idea <laughs> good sweet aren't we hanging out tomorrow yeah, we, duh, Watching we're going to watch the, the movies. Oh, cool. I, I, we can, I, I don't know if we can get refunds on our concert, but the movies will be better. Screw it, man. Just pretend Screw like it. you're in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> Run, shadow facts. Show us the meaning face. All right. Well, that really wraps up the Lord of the Rings. The last thing that we have to do is something that uh, lovely Quinn can introduce. What is a time for, Quinn? Oh, my God. It's been a minute, but I'm excited to have the patented over under IMDb review rating return. And that is where we decide whether the true rating of The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, is over or under the IMDb rating. And currently, oh, did you know there's actual uh, a separate imdb entry for the special extended scene the extended scenes Earth. of the movie oh, we're no. not going to do that one because that one's at 9.7 with 300 votes some super nerd put that one in there Three, 307 well, tell, tell us how many uh ratings are in the return of the king normal oh the return of the ring ah oh, just a little bit more with uh 1.9 million ratings i yeah. guess it's probably the most rated on imdb with that 1.9 million usually we're sitting at like uh, you know a few hundred thousand is thousand. A lot. yeah sometimes we watch a little less known things yeah i don't think i've ever seen a million this is almost a two mil two maybe on the throw matrix the, M. the matrix said a lot but probably not this many it is, oh, the, it is many. crazy oh matrix two two m oh no <laughs> so and well, then uh all right we, we're yeah. sitting at a 9.0 yep we're signing Nine off. Point. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to lead the way on this one. Um, I like the other films. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I like the, the way my brain's wired, but this one is like by, by, by far my favorite. I really? think I mentioned in the other two, I just feel like I'm like waiting for this one. I'm like, because I said like, you're there, about there, the there, ring. We'll <laughs> yeah. And you guys are like, wait, there's, there's so much going on. I actually, monitor went off um there's so much going on you know you're like there's you know arcs in each one and they're complete in themselves and i'm like no nah, it is i need this story to finish like, the um, ring. yeah and honestly it's just like this is the only one that i'm like gripped and i understand what's going on and i feel like i know the stakes and i i had such a good a viewing experience um for this one i and i i think i do every single time i'm like uh, this is good. This is solid. But then once I get to return the king, I'm like, wow, this is the shit. And it makes me want to rewatch the other ones. Um, and it's probably just going to be a cycle of me watching those two and then just wanting to watch return the king again. Um, but get to the I'm, end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over, over nine, um, which is kind of wild, but I, there's nothing wrong with this film and just the, it's hard to do an ending and they did it flawlessly. And knowing 
the the ending is perfect and flawless makes you so much makes you want to watch the whole thing again you know you got a good ending you want to reread it you want watch it so i'm going over Quinn, you want to go next? Sure. I think you might cut out there a little bit at the end, but you said over and you're great. Um, it sounded like it was coming back. Um, I'm going to go probably. So this one's tough because I, 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 knowing there's always context to these things. And yeah, would you go over and under for the season of The Return of the King? Because what you split it up in 10 episodes or something, right? <laughs> Like which 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 season? Yeah, so like yeah. you know, it was like four seasons, each with like five episodes in them, and uh, you know, it's a little tough to say, but I think it's the ending of a story really does you know complete a story, and it affects your previous. It it makes you feel invested in that it you know pay off was worth something. Yeah. Um, you know, you invest your time to things, even though that's not how it really should be. You know, part of the thing should be the process, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to go over for the fact that I don't think there's another type of this movie that would make me go over. Um, you know, it's not my favorite genre and it's not. And I kind of had the not the best viewing experience, but. It was a it was a damn good film and I just didn't you get before we got to clear the air here did the did the ants show up did in this film I, I didn't see him <laughs> they killed Saruman I, that was in the last film mm, that was at the beginning no, of this was, and the extended or maybe in the beginning of the this extended yeah in my little brain I had two things in my head that were incorrect childhood perceptions. Mm -hmm. One was at the end of this film, the ring it does not go in the lava. Hmm. I I don't know what happens after the movie, but in so my you head, were like wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I thought they didn't complete their journey for some reason. Like mm -hmm. really, I was like, I remember seeing it as a kid. They didn't get to the top of Sauron or whatever Mount Doom. And then the second thing was like there was this Day X Machina moment where all hope was lost, and then the. And then the whole tree army comes out, which is more of a scene in the second movie. But I thought it was going to happen at the end here to get them to Mount Doom. But I don't know why. I just I had these incorrect notions in my head so, as, a, as a wee lad. So I'm going to go over. Over. Wow. wow. I was not expecting that. Patrick. Me either. Definitely not. Uh, I'm also going to go over. It not it's you know, not only comparable if not you know slightly better quality to the previous two, which fantastic movies. You know this movie won eleven Oscars. You know it's definitely just top quality. But what I think, you know, echoing what Grant said earlier, what puts it above, is, it's a finisher. It's so hard to nail a finale and do it well, do the series justice, tie out all the loose ends and make sure there's like a you know. <laughs> Not only like a a good storyline in that one, but you just kind of like complete things in a way that makes your hefty investment pay off. And Tolkien did it, Jackson did it, and that's why it's over. Nice. Oh, Three overs, boys. That's that's rare. And I think Quinn and I both went under for the other two. So um, mm -hmm. this was big for us to, to flip, I think. Um, well... We have kind of two transitions here. Uh, this ends our first trilogy that Patrick Manning has picked out. Um, so we have to figure out what we're doing for our next episode. One, I have to hand over the director hat to our boy, Quinn McHale. Whoa, I'll take it from you and I'll put it on my head. And uh, two, I have to come up with a, a different trilogy. And I don't know if you guys think through or you guys have done some trilogy research. I know, um, Patrick, originally you were discussing um, doing, um, what's the one with the good and the bad and the, ugly. the bad and the ugly trilogy, you know, and, and that's on a lot of lists. Um, you got, you know, the Matrix, which we've already seen as a group. Um, 
the godfather right and i said you know i want to do a trilogy that's kind of close to me that i think um is pretty rare and most people have not seen and it's actually an anthology trilogy so they're not connected to each other um they're all independent and it's called the three flavors cornetto uh that is the trilogy um it's sometimes it referred to as the cornetto trilogy or the blood and ice cream trilogy um, Quinn, stop doing your Googling. I got, I'm, I got my Wikipedia is here. Is it the colors? Uh, I see, uh, I'm trying to picture if I've, if I've heard of this even before. Yeah, no, no. I never heard of the trilogy, but once I list the films, you might know. So okay. now anthology of British oh, comedy films, Edgar Wright um, and Simon Pegg. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nick Frost is always in them as well. Um, and they don't share a storyline. They're really just known because uh, they kind of have the same vibe. Um, the first one is Shaun of the Dead, mm. which the Cornetto flavor of this film is considered strawberry. We have strawberry. Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz is one of my favorite films of all fucking Ooh. time. And I don't know if you guys have seen it, but this is a reason why I picked it's this, this trilogy is, is dear to my heart. I think they hit a note. And I think this is why it's a trilogy. They hit a note um, that's hard to that's not hit by others. And they have a very um fun kind of energy about their films and then the last one i actually saw in theaters but i barely remember it is the world's end and oh hot fuzz's cornetto flavor is classico sorry and then the world's end um is the last film um with the cornetto flavor of mint um they were released in 2004 2007 2013 um Directed by Edgar Wright for all of them, and the screenwriters were Edgar Wright and Simon Pegg for all three. Wow! I'm excited. I, did, I didn't know something like this existed, Grant. This is cool. Yeah. So, the, are they all comedies considered? Yeah, yeah. they're all British okay. comedies. So you got British. Shaun the Dead is a spoof off of Dawn of the Dead. Hot Fuzz is its own thing, and The World's End is its own thing. I think I have seen them all at some point. Uh, but it's been forever. I can't name anything that happened. I thought it'd be fun. We we just did we just did like one epic story. So now we're mm -hmm. gonna just do like fun, easy, like hour and a half, like whimsical. You know, oh yeah, it'll fly you know, by. Films. Yeah, it'll be I'll fun. only need like three viewings, so it'll be chill. <laughs> no, you're watching each of the idiots on their own. I mean, Shaun of the Dead might be the longest. Let's see. Ninety nine minutes. That's... No, it's easy. 99 minutes i'm gonna i'm gonna stay pure it's gonna be on the big screen good yeah. speakers everything's set up now we could even watch them together oh my record oh together my oh, god. My god. oh my god oh my god well uh, mia yeah so quinn is going to lead us off next episode with Shaun of the dead which is a fun zombie spoof in in the age of when zombie movies were like taken off you know and this is I think well written, great acting, um, and is really lighthearted fun. So I'm excited for next week. Hell yeah! All right, anything else, guys? Anything uh, we want to discuss? No, we're good. All right, well, thank you all for listening, for watching. I know this one was a little bit more visual, so we hope if you were listening to this that you check out um, our YouTube channel and and watch. Subscribe, the, subscribe, like, smash all, that uh, bell. Um, we are quarter life critics at YouTube and we have our Instagram, which should have all of our social media. That is also quarter life critics is our handle. Um, yeah. Thank you guys. Please follow, like share this. Um, we always appreciate your time and we have fun doing this. So we will, got, we will see you guys. I think in three weeks time, but um, we'll see you when we see you. What's the quote? Patrick, can you end us? With Podcasters are note. never late and they're never early. They podcast precisely when they mean to. And with that, we will see you when we mean to with Shaun of the Dead for our next episode. Peace. Peace. Peace.